Hello and welcome to Postal Rents Manager Pro. Manager Pro is a perfect monthly subscription plan for brands running multiple influencer marketing campaigns, handling numerous payments and extensive reporting. The package includes everything in our Manager Lite and Discover plan and it also allows you to reach out to the influencers and get a direct campaign cooperation with them, besides the public campaign option. So let's take a quick look. Uh, you'll notice the first tab here is the influencers. So on here you can access the X-ray, which is included in the tool, as is Discover. And uh, this also includes the influencer report. So anything that you've done on the X-ray tab will uh, will appear in the influencer reports. And the compare tool is the same. So once you've uh, analysed an account, you can then use them in compare, and you can check the reports here. So let's jump into the Discover tab and take a quick look at what we can do for campaigns from the discover tab so in the discover tab this will allow you to search for obviously um, hashtags or specific things relating to your business perhaps along with all of the normal filters so location of country you can set this to global of course you can be specific for cities you can also um, search within specific ranges uh, of reach and ranges of age uh, gender category and credibility so obviously we have the all of the main platforms down here and once you've chosen all of the filters these are the results that are going to come back so a really cool thing that we can do right here is say okay uh, I recognize these four influencers here you'll see as I select them they're added to this list and you'll see at the bottom as I select them this number is increasing as is a total reach so what we can do from this point is say, okay, let's take a quick look at what a campaign would look like with these four people. So these are the estimated results. Now to get the full report, what we'll need to do is analyze these missing accounts. So this is gonna automatically analyze all of the missing data that we have with those four people we've selected. If for instance, we had already analyzed one of those people, then of course we wouldn't have to reanalyze. So this is going to be a quick look at the combined audience reachability, audience age, gender split, the performance of what the post is going to look like, the brand affinity, the audience brand affinity, location by country, language, popular hashtags, um, top five engaged users and audience category affinity. So all of this information can help us make uh, a, a decision on whether or not we're going to go ahead and run a campaign with these people. We can also at this point export to XLSX or PDF. So all of the information we just saw there is of course available for the individual influencers. All you have to do is click on them and drill in. You'll see here some performance estimation and then fees for the different platforms. You can also go into the, the category affinity here, the audience data, so again, all the dem demographics here. You also have some really cool uh, engagement data, so you can take a look at their past um, posts and drill into ones that are of interest to you and see the the follower ranges and, and like ratios okay so let's head on back to the selection so let's say we want to make a campaign with these people what you have to do is click new campaign with selected and this is immediately going to launch the campaign setup screens so uh, you can go ahead and give the campaign a title choose a country or you can choose multiple countries or leave it uh, empty for global campaigns you can choose a single piece of content, so feed or story, or of course you can have multiple contents, a combination. You can enable preview, so this will allow you to check the content before it goes live. Um, if you head over to the brief, which is the next step on the campaign setup, you can, this is a, a screen where you'll be typing in the instructions for the, the post. So this is where you'll give all the information you can about your company and anything relating to the posting will go in here. As much information as possible, the better. If you'd like to direct them to a URL, you can do so in this box here. You can also upload images to use as inspiration, or if you'd like them to directly to share that, then this is the, the place to do that. And of course, a cover image for the campaign, which is what they will see on the app. So here you can choose the wording of the post. So if you want to be specific about something, or if you'd like to let them freestyle, you can make that decision here. The next tab along is the timing, so this is pretty straightforward, it's literally just the posting period of the content. So this is where you will on a calendar choose the from and to dates. In influencers, this is where you're just going to check the influencers that you already have selected. You can at this point search for more, you can add or remove at your will here, and this is like a replication of the discovery screen. And the second to final tab here on the campaign setup process is the payment. So you've got three different options. You can 
price by follower range you can price per influencer and PPC pay per click so at this point you can also set up a voucher and I'll show you how to do that later on and that's if you want to pay with a product or a combination of product and, and monetary value you can do that here so pricing per follower range simply put your budget in the top and choose your uh, follower range prices so you can add different amounts for different follower ranges uh, it's completely up to you what you put and uh, this is just a simple way of pricing everyone in, in different follower ranges without having to price individual ones please bear in mind as you'll see here we've only chosen people over 200k so that's why it's only giving us a suggested fee here for this particular one because we haven't actually selected anyone in these follower ranges the second one and in this case the most easiest one as we only have three people is the pricing per influencer so it's already pre-filled with their fees you can of course adjust that as you will for each one and the final one is PPC so you just put your amount per click that you're willing to pay put a limit for a post if you uh, want to take control of the spending here and also um, waiting time so how much you can uh, you will accept to wait um, for the clicks to be charged final screen is the overview and this is just to quickly take a look at everything that you've set up just check all the details and everything is fine before you hit finishing as of course that will go live so you can check the title you can check the country the channel the type the posting periods and and just have another look at the estimated reach and spending so once you're happy with that you cl simply click finish and your campaign will go live so once your campaigns are live you can check in my campaigns and this will give you an overview of what you have going on in terms of campaigns now this screen will show you anything that you have previously set up and it will also show you anything that you have active um, it's a good kind of overview if you have obviously if you have multiple campaigns running or if you would like to reference previous campaigns then of course you can do so in this screen So as you can see here we have some campaigns in draft, some campaigns closed and active campaigns will show up here. You can also head over to the products tab. So this will allow you to add a product and you can also add a voucher, it's really simple. So if you want to pay an influencer in a product, simply choose the category here, type the name of the product, give it a value or leave it at zero if you do not want to give it a value, add the URL and a quick description and of course upload an image. So the next tab along is the transactions and this is just a place to check how much you've spent and what your balance is and what those spendings were on and uh, of course check the dates and everything there and if you need any more reports of course you can always do that by clicking on the need more tab so simply hit the need more tab here and you can top up with one of our single reports 10, 50 or a bespoke amount. Should you want to upgrade, should your company be growing and, and if you want to uh, benefit from some of the benefits of Manager Enterprise, all the benefits are available from our site if you want to go through and if you are perhaps using a lot of your reports, um, if you are your team is growing in size and you would like more access or if you're starting to look after other brands, then you can do so just by hitting upgrade in the upgrade tab. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.